I really don't want my face out there, but clearly my face about to be out there, so like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm God's child, baby. <laughs> God first, uh, family, health, and wealth. Like, I feel like that's what my focus in life is. I like to eat luxurious food. I like to eat mom and pop food. I feel like my vision for Muggsy Eats is showing people the world, like, hey, you can ball on any budget with your food. My mom, she's not here any longer. Um, she was a foodie when she was here. Like, she'd be watching Food Network all day long. And it would just be getting on my damn nerves. And so, like, I think her love for food has trickled down to me. But anyways, I just want everybody, like, to share my love for food that my mom blessed me with, and I want to share that with the world. Hi, yes, ma'am. And my name is Muggsy, and I'm a food vlogger. I was trying to see, would it be okay of me um, coming right now and just getting some footage of me buying some dishes for your uh, restaurant? I heard a lot about it. And so I would like to feature your food on my channel today. Would that be okay? That would be fine. You, you, you don't have to come in the truck, do you? Oh, no, I don't have to. I mean, unless you want me to. <laughs> no, nah, that's okay. I'm going to have my, uh, it'll be me and my cameraman. We're going to come through and get a lot of food, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Muggsy. I'll be there in like the next 20, 30 minutes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to go to the Bull Bar and get some food. Um, never been. Um, it's really heavy on Yelp, so I'm going to check it out. So, you know. Hopefully it's good. They got like fried snow crabs. Like, I ain't never had that shit before. Dude, that shit, I ain't never did that before. You <laughs> remember? So like, growing up, my grandpa always called me Muggsy. Like, it was Muggsy, and he was like, the reason I call you Muggsy is because as a baby, you would not smile for nobody. And there was a cartoon character named Muggsy that wouldn't smile. He was like a cab driver or something. And so that's what they named me. Um, and like, I just wouldn't let people call me, and now I feel like I embrace it, and I wanna, I wanna, the people that I've lost in life are like some real hard losses. Like my grandma, my mom, and my grandpa, those are like the hardest that I've ever dealt with. I've lost other family members, but those are the ones that really affected me. And I feel like now being called Muggsy is like I'm letting my grandpa live on in a way. Now that I'm embracing food, I'm still letting my mom live on in a way. So it's pretty just dope to just like embrace that. My grandma, the way she living on, oh baby, cause she put this business mindset in my head. Like she was a go-getter. She didn't look for nobody to give her a handout. She started all her businesses by herself and made them successful. So it's like I'm letting everybody live on that was important to me. They living through me. Okay. Oh, speak up. What? I said speak up. Like don't get all sad. There's nothing to put your head down about. You will get the V-Bucks, you little spoiled, privileged-ass child. But you're not going to spend $100 on V-Bucks. Not at all. Deal? Okay. We'll go get V-Bucks and we'll go get some Fro-Yo. We'll get some frozen yogurt or we'll go get some ice cream, okay? Okay. Deal? Blow it up in the air for me. Pound it, blow it up. Pound it, blow it up. Thank you. We about to eat! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm so excited. Cajun turkey next bull to perfection with bull bar right. Oh yes. Boudin ball basket, two crawfish, spinach and cheese. Oh yes, we're gonna get that. Boudin ball basket, um, three lamb chops with yellow rice, salad. That sound like some halal right there, baby. We about to eat good, baby. <laughs> I love me some good food. Yummy in my tummy. Houston hottest food trucks, seafood boil packs, fried fish and shrimp baskets, gourmet meals, custom sauces. Okay, boil bar. <laughs> thank you. I'm so excited to feature you. Yo, thank you, thank you. I just wanted to come out and introduce Thank you so much. I'm Muggsy, by the way. Yes. Okay, you ready for this order? Yes. <laughs> Can I get the salmon nachos, please? Salmon nachos. Can I get the boudin ball basket? Boudin ball basket. Can I get the Cajun turkey necks and boiled bar rice? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. So we waiting for our food. It's going to take like 20 minutes or so. But in the meantime, we got some turkey necks to try. I'm so excited. Don't that shit look good? Oh my gosh, bro, I'm gonna have a food gasm. <laughs> bro, it's good.
Bro, that's good. It's great. Mama, you not here no more? But you used to make the bomb turkey necks. I may have found some competition for you. <laughs> like, this is the truth. It's really good. It's like savory with a hint of sweetness and a spice. It got a little kick to it at the end. Like, you know she put her foot in this. They cooked this with some love. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I'm excited to try everything else. So y'all, we at the Bull Bar. Go check them out, they're downtown Houston. One of the best food trucks I've ever come to. So family friendly oriented. Go check out their food, I cannot wait to eat. And follow them on Instagram at Bull Bar. So we about to try all this good food God has blessed us with to go get today. We got brisket fries. We have the Deluxe Bull Bar pack. So that's turkey necks, um, what is it? Shrimp, sausage, eggs, corn, rice. We got the salmon bites right here. We got the salmon nachos. And we got the boudin balls. So we're gonna try some brisket fries. Oh my gosh. They look so good. They say you eat with your eyes first. Baby. I'm not full yet though. <laughs> uh, what is this? Turkey necks and rice. Oh my gosh. I've never had salmon nachos, but they say it's the first time for everything, right? I'll do one salmon bite. I still gotta watch my calories, right? Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it has a spinach. I think I did, I think I, I, think I got everything. So y'all, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am. I am about to try uh, a plethora <laughs> of different foods that we got from Bull Bar. So y'all, please go check them out. Go look at them on IG. So this is the brisket nachos that I got. Let's see how this is. Okay. It's like sweet and savory mixed together, but in heaven. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is gonna make me want nachos. Let me try, I didn't get a piece of meat. Now, so, you ever heard of the itis? Now, if you eat all these fries, that's probably what's gonna happen. Mm, this will definitely put you on your ass. You're gonna be sleepy after you eat this. It is amazing. All the different sauces and the flavors that they put together, they knew what they was doing when they made these brisket nachos. So you have the barbecue, the sweetness from the barbecue, but you can put, tell they put some spice with it to heat it up a little so it won't be overwhelmingly sweet on top of the french fries. Um, not too much cheese to make them soggy, so they knew all of that, and top it off with some cheese and some sour cream to cool down the spice that they have with it. So that is great. Hey, camera. <laughs> so now I'm about to try the, the Bull Bar Deluxe Pack that I bought. So like I said, that's with the turkey necks, the rice, the eggs, the shrimp, the sausage. That's what we're gonna try. So let's see how this is. I'm excited. I'm gonna try the rice first. Okay. They know how to cook their rice. That's important because a lot of people don't know how to cook rice. I can appreciate that. Uh, the turkey necks. I already know how these taste because y'all seen me taste them earlier. But you know I'm gonna eat it again anyway, so. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think, okay, now, right now, the turkey necks, the whole Bull Bar Deluxe Pack, okay, that's gonna be my favorite so far. But I still got a lot to try. Um, can I bite the turkey necks again? I'm gonna bite the turkey necks again. The fact that growing up, I always had turkey necks like in a, a like a like a heavy soup, like a broth, and theirs isn't like that. So it's coated. It's coated with their special seasoning. She said you can get it any way you like. So if you don't want it spicy, they can like tone it down to be mild. You get medium, and you can get like extremely spicy. I got the medium. And it's amazing. So it's amazing. Um, they're tender. They know how to, they're cooked to perfection. So that's like being real. I'm gonna try this egg though. I've never had like a, I mean, an egg and rice. I ain't never had that. Um, it's an egg. It's an egg. <laughs> I'm gonna clear my palate again, y'all. Okay. Oh my gosh, so the nachos, they have the red onions on them, tomatoes, 
Um, you see it's about the drip, it dropped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the salmon, the cheese, I'm excited. So let me go ahead and let y'all know how salmon nachos are. This is a first, like definitely. <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I don't know who put that on the menu, but I'm gonna say they knew what they was doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's definitely different. And I don't really like onions. I don't know if I told y'all that, but now y'all know. I don't really care for like to see onions on my food. And I just ate all the onions that was in that nacho. It was great. That was great. They, the layering, I mean, it's almost similar to the brisket fries. Um, it's really dressed the same. The only difference is one is nachos, one is french fries. One has um, brisket, one has salmon. So that was good. I like the nachos. The nachos, that may be my top. The nachos and the turkey necks. So I'm gonna try the salmon bite. So this is fried salmon. Now that is definitely something I've never seen. I've never seen anybody fry salmon. Mm. Mm. The coating is good. The coating is good. Very good. I'm trying it again for y'all. Make sure I give y'all my honest opinion. Mm. It's a hit. It's a hit. I ain't gonna lie. Now this is like this boudin ball is fried to perfection, and I could not finish a whole one. Um, I believe it has spinach, cheese, regular like you know boudin balls. Oh, it don't want to get eight. <laughs> That's great. Amazing. Decadent. Oh my gosh. Delectable. I like that. And it has a, sli a slight spice. So if you like spicy, or if you like spicy but not too much spicy, like with a hint of spice, this would be perfect for you. Um, this would definitely give you that goddamn itis. Like, the itis be real, baby, because I'm probably gonna go to sleep before after this. So, oh my gosh, y'all. Please, y'all gotta go check out Boil Bar. Go follow their page. You'll see it right here below me. Please go follow them because all the food was great. I appreciate that. And I appreciate for everybody even watching my first episode. Yes, this is my first episode for Muggsy Eats. So I hope you subscribe to my page. I hope you follow me on all my social medias. Hey, what are my social medias? I got Instagram, I got Twitter, I got TikTok, I got Facebook, and guess what? I even got Yelp. Yes, baby, Yelp. For you people that may not even really be on social media like that. So follow me on all those pages. Um, just stay tuned for the journey. This is something that really is near and dear to my heart and I'm sharing my love, which is food. And I'm sharing it with you guys, the world. Subscribe, follow me, and don't forget, it's God, family, health, and wealth. There you go.